this is Jessica Broglie, and I'd like to take a brief moment to show you how to do some basic editing in iMovie. So I'm using a MacBook Pro, and I've gone to the Finder, and now Applications, and there's iMovie, the purple star. I can open it if I want, or I can drag it to my bar here, so then I always have it there. There we go, and now I'll go ahead and click it. Now this is the first time I've been in iMovie on this machine, so it will probably offer me some type of tutorial, so a welcome screen. If you're new to iMovie, it's probably worth your time to go through and watch those. For now, I'm just going to click continue and get started. The first thing I need to do is click a new movie. Now if you're using an older Mac, that could be different for how you would get started. Perhaps you have to import your videos first. I'm going right to creating a new movie. So I'll just select no theme, create. And I'll give it a general name. Clip number one. And I'll click OK. Now it's time to import media. Like I said before, I noticed on some Macs, for example, the Macs in the back of Doudna 106, you import your movie first, then start a new project. In this video, I started my project first and then imported. Either way, it gets you to the same place. So um, what it's asking me to do now is go find the material I'd like to import. If I had an iPad plugged in, the iPad would show up here and I would select that and then import the video accordingly. I have already downloaded some video footage to this Mac so I have to go find it. So I will click on my name and then downloads and let's hope there's a video sitting there. Great. So I'll click import selected and now um, this is just a clip bin. Down here this is my timeline so I need to decide what section of this do I want imported. Now I tend to just take the whole thing and deal with it later but what portion you wanted you could just pick that. So how you pick that is you put your cursor over the timeline here, this little clip line I guess, and click with one finger so I'm right now holding down with my left and dragging with my right hand. So again, my left index finger is holding down on the trackpad and my right index finger is moving from left to right to indicate my clip. So I'm going to go ahead and take a section of this. And if I wanted to verify if I had the right section, I would just click play. Actually, notice where my viewfinder, where my little marker here is, it's set the wrong place. So I would need to make sure that, there we go, now it's in the right place. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right, so let's just say I know I want that. Then I would go ahead and right click and either play it or I can drag it into my timeline. There we go. Frankly, I tend to just take the entire clip. That way I can, I'm sure I've got it all and I can edit it on the timeline later anyway. So here I have my clip. Um, so the first things that I notice is just listening to the audio and making sure I can hear everything. Um, and most of you just need to know how to start and stop your video. Um, so if you want to trim off the end, you can put your cursor right where you want to trim it and right click and click split clip and then just delete that portion. So now I've clicked on that portion and I'll tap the delete key. And then again over here, I'll put my cursor where I want my clip to start, right click and split clip and then click on my clip I want to delete and move it out. Notice you can also, if you hover your your cursor right over the edge of a clip, it shows two little lines here. You can grab that and trim that way too. Now remember for EdTPA you cannot do anything like this. So notice I'm in the middle of my clip. Right click, split clip, and let's say a student like misbehaves right about here. And I'm saying to myself, boy, I wish I could get rid of that clip. I wish I could just trim that out. You cannot do that. If I tried to turn this in, if it were an actual teaching video, and the obvious change in the line that you've either changed outfits or that there's a segment missing, 
your clip would be disqualified. So do not do something like what you just saw me do. So I'm going to edit undo and put everything back the way I had it. So really that's as far as editing goes, that's what you need to know for starting and stopping your clip. To publish this, if this is all you need to do, you would simply click the share button, file, and then you need to keep your video under 500 megabytes. So in my case, my clip is so small, so it's fine. But don't be surprised if you have a 20 minute clip and you took HD footage, you are going to be blowing past this 500 megabytes. So you need to simplify this a little bit and turn it down to medium. And I would leave it 720 and do whatever you have to do to get it down underneath 500 megabytes. And then when you're done, you'll click next and give it a name. Click save. And now up here, it's processing the video and you really do just have to wait. And when you're done, it, it exports it to basically the equivalency of my documents in your uh, on your Mac. And then from there, you would upload it to a uh, task stream. If you have any questions, let me know, but that's just the bare minimum what you can, what you need to know to be able to trim clips in the most recent version of iMovie. Good luck.